right here I'm with Joey the Terminator Martin, World Arm Wrestling Champion, and he's about to break down some information for everybody on the internet. You guys got to pay attention to Joey. Joey's got some gems for you. What we, can you show him the book? Let, let's, let's break the book out and put it all out there. All right. One of the most important keys that we still have here, if you can get your hands on one of these, this is a 1935 Webster's Dictionary. All right? The words that are in this book today are the words what they used to mean. Now, if you go to a new thesaurus dictionary, or a so-called new Webster's Dictionary, you're going to find out the word meanings have been changed. Throughout time, they're changing history right now, trying to bury it. What happens below the Vatican stays at the Vatican, they say. Why do you think they got all that knowledge and information down below the Vatican? Why? Because they're trying to hide something from you. Yeah. You cannot hide this. Here's what's coming to pass. I will tell it to you before it ever happens. They've got the whole world mesmerized by an image. The scriptures say, do not make anything, any likeness of anything that is in the heavens, on the earth, or below the sea. So that man might bow and worship to. So they make the image of the so-called Christ, which is an idol, an image to the beast. They got the whole world mesmerized by this, indoctrinated to what they think the Christ is going to look like. Now, they have the capacity now to create an image in the heavens with a computer and a satellite. In this book here, there's one word in it. It's called image. The word image in this book means the bending of the rays of light and hologram. Not real. Revelations says this about the beast. They make an image unto the beast, which they have done. Now the whole world thinks this is what the Christ looks like. Then they give the image the power to speak because it's not real. It's a doggone image, the bending of the rays of light. Then, once the image is made and forecasted, they give it the power to speak. What's the purpose? That all who see the image that they made will bow and worship that image. The whole purpose is bow and worship and false image and hologram, which they have like, yeah. This is key, because now they're in a position that they only have one chess move left on Terra Nova, planet Earth, and only one chess move. 2008, 2011, the Continental Congress of the United States tried to pass a pedophilia law. They were shut down both times. They did it because the Catholics have the title to D.C., Washington, D.C. They own that. All right? Now... Yeah. Note, everything that they attempted to try to do at the level of the Continental Congress to protect the Catholics. This is a marriage between religions and politics. It's called the Aaronite religion and politic system. Not to control the world. That's right. It is politics and religion. Now I'm going to give everybody something that most do not understand because they're so indoctrinated into the way they teach religion today. Because I tell you one truth. The divine law of love that creates all life is not a religion. How do you sell love? You can't sell it. It's not a product. It was never meant to be 50,000 plus religions. Yeah. And this is a problem we have now. Because the Air Knights have been identified. This marriage of religion and politics. I'm going to get a little smart ass here about politics about right now because they used to be called scribes. Back mm. in the times, they took a new title, politicians. The word poly means many, and a tick yeah. is a blood-sucking parasite. Mm. Yeah. Now, how do you confuse the world? How do you create the masteries of con fusions? 50,000 plus religions later, they have masterfully confused the whole creation. They con you with a false doctrine of demons, devils, which they are in their heart of hearts and their mind. They fuse it to you like it were a truth. The word rapture is in this book I have here. And it doesn't mean what they have told you it means, and that's why it has never happened in the way they say it's going to happen. Yeah. It has never happened that way. People are being raptured breath by breath if you know what the word means. Look at today's new thesaurus and look up the word rapture. Look up the word enchant or enchantments that is directly linked to the word rapture. And you're going to find out it doesn't say what this book says. 
I'm going to open this up and read it to you verbatim. Give me a second here. I'm going to put my glasses on. We're going to look up the word enchantments. And we're going to see exactly what this used to mean back in 1935 before they started changing word meanings. They're changing word meanings to hide the have truth. Have you ever heard of the butterfly effect? Oh, yes. Yes, yeah, I have. Like they're changing things on purpose, right? Yes. People don't even fucking know. But it's because they're, they didn't ask the question. This doctrine became a doctrine back in 1920, firmly established. Yet the word rapture cannot be found written anywhere between Genesis and Revelations. They should have questioned, what does that word mean? But they didn't question it. They just assumed that these men were going to tell them the truth. Multitudes later of this false doctrine never happening, and these rip-off these rip artists, Madoffs is what I'm going to call them, have taken people's money and scammed them with that doctrine and then booked and kept the money. But it happens everywhere, like uh, preacher. L. Ron Hubbard stuff. Yeah. So, here's what the word enchant means. It says, the use or practice of magic, sorcery, charms, etc. And the word charms means the same thing, by the way. The state of being enchanted, rapture. Wow. Damn. Right here in that book. If you can see yes. the word enchantment, rapture, it says, right there. You cannot miss it. Rapture. Damn. Now you look up the word charms, and it says the same. To be filled with delight. The word delight links right back to being raptured. Having a spell cast upon you. Mysticism is another word that's a very interesting word, and I'm going to put it on screen right now, because this is key, because it points right to the front door of the Vatican. This is why they don't want, this is why these books are not available anymore. Do you believe in the Vatican and Fathom? Uh, say that again, brother. Do you believe that the Vatican has people that they send out to like kill people? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was on a, place, a site called Godlike Productions. I was providing information out of this book I have here and was diligently sharing it with people. And somebody came into my uh, thread and told me the Vatican's on, Marty. And they're here in this thread. Go up and top, check it out. So I went up top, checked out. Sure enough, Vatican, Rome. All right, they were there. They came in and accused me of having stolen this book from them. And I told them this. I stole nothing from you my father did not give me. They didn't even come in an attempt to deny the intel that I was providing people. I hadn't given any physical evidence or proof that I had it. But they didn't even deny it. Yeah. They came back. You know what they said to me? On a live forum, when we find you this time, we're going to make sure you're dead. Damn. Straight up. Yeah, but, you, you, but now they're allowing, they're going to allow us to put this YouTube video out and get as many as we want. Until they block my page. So I'm uh, don't worry, this won't be uploaded to the Ziploc page. It's going to come up from one of my side pages. Ziploc Fresh News, the truth area. So we, we don't have to lose all my nice nifty stuff. But maybe YouTube will shut me fully down. Who knows if it'll lily pad over to mine. Nah. We can make one through my shit, man. I want to promote that kind of shit. We're okay, on it right now. Here's We're, one this more is all on video, my here friend. Here is what. Can we turn the light on in here so I can yeah. see better? Yeah. Okay, cool. This is the word mysticism. From the 1935 Webster's Dictionary. Teacher's edition, by the way. Here's what the word mysticism means. The quality or condition of being mystic. Obscurity of thought or teaching. When you obscure something, it means you're not telling the truth. At all. It goes on and says, The doctrine that communion with God and a knowledge of the divine essence may be attained in independent of the senses or processes of reason through intuition and insight. Wait a minute. Man was given a mind to reason out all things. The scripture tells man to reason all things, to test all things. Because if you're not asking that, you're being indoctrinated. You're given a mind in the innocent mind of a child. To tell the difference between someone telling the truth Mysticism. and not. It actually, it actually looks like the definition I'm reading actually looks like the theory of Coca-Cola release. It goes on. McDonald's. There's, a, there's an important word that he uses here that links to the word rapture. It's ecstasy. Oh. Here's what it says. It says, 
Hence, yeah. the ecstasy, the ecstasy of those who claim they have had insight or visions bringing them into spiritual union with the eternal and giving them knowledge of the supernatural. The teachings or doctrines of the mystics who claimed they had direct communion with God and beyond the natural faculties to understand and consequently unexplainable. Bernard Clairvaux, Saint Bonaventure, are the best known men mystics. Man, so they time. just labeled Catholics. And, as... and while Saint Teresa is the outstanding figure among women mystics. Jeez Louise, so they're basically just labeling, I mean, it, it's not labeled, it's literally Catholicism is put hand in hand with sorcery, yes. wizardry, Yes. Now mysticism. when we look up what, what the word, when we look up what the word obscure means, and the word ecstasy, you're going to be shocked at the truth that is just in a simple dictionary from old times. Here's what the word mysticism means. So wait, wait a second. So when we've been thinking, there it is. So when we've been thinking witchcraft is in its own territory, we weren't thinking Catholicism was witchcraft, no. but yeah. it's actually completely yes. into the same twine. The seat, the seat That's of the beast. That's disgusting. The seat of the beast. Yeah, the seat. Because the common common no. thought is common thought is is this. I'm just going to tell you what a common Joe thought. Common Joe is witchcraft and Catholicism is evil and good. But the difference is, is technically, it, from what we're gathering from this information, it actually puts them into the same plateau together, where they weren't well, yeah, in they, people's, in a dumb person's mind, you when, think when witchcraft you obscure, is evil, when you obscure, good, When you obscure the truth from people, you're hiding what you really are, a ravenous wolf from within. So Catholicism has basically done a good job over the years of, of chameleoning into being yes. called a Christian yes. religion, Now this it's not Christian. Now pay attention here. It's not Judaism. It has nothing to do with it. The image. Uh, all things are in now commercial Christianity, bro. Yep. Like For sale. What really was back then. It's, like, a, it's a business. Version, we have Joel Olstein. We got Joel Olstein over here in Houston. I did not know he was here with his mega church. I did not know that. It's a family business, his wife called it. Family business. Yeah, I, I used to call it she didn't call it. Hey, what? Like yeah, so so let's let's make one thing clear: the whole world has been given an image by Catholicism of what the Christ is supposed to look like. The whole world's been indoctrinated to that image. Here's what Revelation says again: they make an image unto the beast, then they have to give that image the power to speak, proving it's not real. It's a damn hologram. The word image means the bending of the rays of light. They make this image under the beast for one purpose and one reason. That all whose names are not written in the book of life will bow and worship the image they made. But that's what it says too, is that the Antichrist is going to come on just like Jesus. Yeah. Now here's the question we have of the day. Name, Mark, number, and or image. What name is it that they use that they claim is the son of man's name? Jesus. What image do they use to portray to the world what the Christ looks like when we know it's written? It is forbidden, forbidden to make any likeness of anything that is in the heavens, on the earth, or below the sea. Yeah. The seat of the beast it's, it's, it's the seat of the Vatican. The whole world knows it. And now they've been revealed to be pedophiles. Yeah, because the uh, it's sitting there in a uh, neutral, no-touch zone where everybody just kind of gets all real PC and everybody gets real, real, real proclumped and easygoing and they just let everything go because it's mystic they've mysticized the whole public that they're freaking Catholicism brand. It's all Christian. It's all you good. Know, but then they're doing the worst of the worst. See how they just made it? Yeah, well, back in, remember when I told you what happened in 2008, 2011? The little Continental Congress tried to pass a pedophilia law, making it illegal to have sex with a child. And that was a retro law, was meant to protect the Catholics. They're not getting any protection. They have been revealed for what they are. They call themselves godly men. We have no doubt they have a god. Question now to ask them publicly is this. Which God is it that says 
that it's okay to do that to a child. Yeah. What you do to these, these ones, you've done to me. Note that. TikTok. Yeah. Yeah, and they, they, basically, they basically centered themselves in Hollywood, so there's absolutely no chance you could base it. They're basically the most promoted religion out. And well, all the religions are based, based upon that. Yeah. All the religions are based on that. Look at all of them who have uh, taken up uh, the uh, all the symbols of their religion, uh, the image of so-called what the Christ looks like. Yet they deny what's written in the Book of Life. They made an image, and they all accept that image of the beast. Yeah. Interesting times we live in. We are. Uh, we pulled to the work. Hey, dude, I gotta go. But like, hey, man. Uh...